Hi guys, Dennis with you. In this video, I'll tell you about two types of network rendering and explain how to stop your computers for such render. Network rendering is a means of mass processing multiple rendering tasks or jobs. In its most efficient form, network rendering uses multiple computers connected over a network to perform rendering tasks. Typically, the rendering of animations with hundreds or thousands of frames, blah 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 blah. In common language, you have a lot of computers and they are making one job. Even a small network of 3 or 4 PCs can save substantial rendering time and help you to meet deadlines. Fun fact that the entire render farm of Pixar Studio in 1995 was like a half of an 6th iPhone. Mind blow! As I said before, we have two types, distributed and background rendering. Generally, distributed system build it into rendering software. When you're starting calculating on your primary machine, it calls everybody in the network for help. They do it together in single frame buffer like a team. Background rendering performed by additional programs such as a backburner. And it works in two ways. By single tasks from list, backburner hands out jobs by itself for everybody who was connected to him. Or it could be per frame rendering. We have the animation with 8 frames for example. Everybody who is free taking separate frames for calculating. When it's done, Big Burner gives them another one from sequence. Let's talk about main items of setup. So, we have a computer, and I hope it works, but we are not satisfied with the computing power and we are buying more boxes. The first one should be primary machine. Let's call them and do your best to give them simple names. Item number one, the most important, local area network. To connect your computers, you need some network device. It can be bridge, router or switch. In our case, it's home router. Plug every which computer to it. Second item, equally important, network drive. Each of your computers must have direct access to render scene folder. Third item, preferably same OS and necessarily same versions of software, renders and plugins such as Typeflow, Phoenix, V-Ray installed on all of your machines. If you're ready, let's proceed to setup. Here we go guys and girls, this is my desktop of primary machine. Network drive is first that we have to do. Go to one of your devices and create their projects folder, I called it Arganfish, uh, here we go, here we have a lot of folders, renders, scenes and something like that. Just click properties, go to sharing, share, add right here, everyone already have. Check like read and write permissions, click share. Your folder is shared, done, close. Then we go to this PC and click this arrow. Here we have map network drive. In this option you can choose letter that you want. Then we have to browse our shared folder organfish from primary machine and click finish. Here it is, this is our network drive. I have four computers and for easy control I'm using remote desktop and I already connected to them. Here we go. Let's go to first one, um, second and uh, go to computer like this or just push this button with this arrow and map choose in network on primary machine Augenfish folder this is really important this letter of network drive must be every time the same because if you choose wrong letter on for example third machine this machine will lose all assets and textures let's continue our journey and map third network drive here we go first machine organ fish here we go this is the third network drive and the last one organ fish folder here we go here it is. This is the same folder that I have here. All these icons was connected from network drive, so that's why you didn't see them before. Let's go to the next stage to infinity and beyond. This is my Buzz Lightyear render scene. Let's go to settings. I'm using here V-Ray 5. Go to settings, system and find right here distributed 
rendering. Click this box. Go to settings. Right here in this window, you have to add all your computers by IP address. Just click add server, put this information and click OK. Let's add some not existed. Here we go. This is not existing computer and it will not take a part in this render. So let's remove this server. OK. On your other machines, you have to go in this PC, C Drive, Program Files, Autodesk, 3ds Max 2020, V-Ray, Spawner 2020. You can create right here shortcut. I am already had that. I'm starting all my V-Ray spawners on my computers. As you can see, it's already running. On third one, let's go back to Buzz Like Your Scene, Distributed Rendering, Running and checked. Let's go to asset tracking. You can find it right here, but I'm using shortcut and we have to put all my textures to Z folder, stocks, characters, toy story, buzz, textures, network path. It's working. It's visible in our viewport. Also in this settings, you can check transfer missing assets that will be useful in that case if one of your machine will lose some assets and here you can specify cache limit value just click this box and forget about it settings distributed resolve here we have servers spawners is already running don't save single camera much bigger like this maybe we could use 6000 for 6000 this will be nice picture nice let's go so it's telling us that using two hosts for distributed rendering it's starting something in background so here we have first computer argonfish first here we go argonfish second and third they are already connected scene loaded starting render starting frame zero now we have three computers 48 buckets and it's much faster as you can see it's not so complicated it's really simple just run your spawner on other computers and just check one box and it will start to render together if you have any questions about this distributed rendering just leave the comment below Let's talk about background rendering by using software Backburner. Or you can download it from official website for free. After installation, there you can find three parts of Backburner by this directory. This PC, local disk C, program files, Autodex, Backburner. Or you can find it right here. Let's do like this. Manager that is using for receiving jobs from 3ds Max and giving these jobs to registered computers in network. There is only one manager must be active on machine that you want to be primary. Server in its turn must be running on all of your PCs and it tells the manager like hey I'm here I'm free and I'm ready to work and monitor using for monitoring for tracking your jobs. I want to close all this stuff. One interesting detail. When you start your manager for a first time, nothing happens. Don't worry, start it again. And for a first time, you will see window like this. Don't touch anything right here. Just click OK. This is IP, server ports. That's OK. But that's not really comfortable for me to start manager on computer that I'm working on. I will do that on the second one. And here we go. I changed some icons. And <laughs> as you can see, it looks much better because I love clean up my desktop. Guys and girls, let's start everything on this machine. Manager, server, monitor. Monitor is empty because we have to connect to manager. Localhost by default. You can switch this stuff by automatic search. Here we go. It's automatically find manager in network and connect it to it. As you can see, I have a lot of jobs right here. This is my last project. 
and here is really a lot of frames. This project was like 3800 frames long, it was really long job. But I've done that much faster with 4 computers. As I said before, we have to start all servers. First machine, ready. Third machine, ready. Fourth machine, ready. As you can see, we have four computers right here. And we have successfully registered all these computers in Manager. So obviously we have to start our 3ds Max on second machine and send our jobs from here to Manager. But in my case, I can do this from the first one. This machine also can send jobs to Manager on second one. Let's check it out. So now we should disable distributed rendering. It really can work in the same time distributed in background, but about this we can talk in the next time. Let's use same settings, but in this time we have to save our render result. And let's choose a file to your PC network drive, Z, some folder, whatever. Target submit to network rendering let's go here is the window of network job assignment jobs name buzz like you're nothing complicated just click button connect as you can see we have four computers on this computer we don't have the same 3ds max 2020 on this computer we have only 2018 that's why this computer cannot be able to have a part in this render just click submit we got the job and this job is signed for Argonfish first computer. It means that we have to wait this job right here at the main computer where I'm working on. Here we go, we got the job. I want to show you on another example how to send to manager a bunch of renders. Here we have some scene with a few cameras in it. Let's go to batch rendering and create some different frames. First one, let's check the camera signature image. You can create some presets and choose it from here. I'm choosing square preset for it. You have to name this stuff, uh, Woody01. Let's try another thing, duplicate this stuff and change the camera for first one. Let's change the preset for character let's duplicate it four times and just change the name and change the cameras so it's must be second let's check it out one two three four five one two three four image three thousand three thousand and another preset let's take a look is the path is okay all textures all renders is okay here you go set the paths Use this path, okay, render presets, here you go. Let's try to send this bunch of renders to manager. Just push this box net render in botch render. Push the button render. How many times did I say this word render? Let's rename to Woody, connect. Here we got all machines ready and submit. Here's manager, got our jobs and send it to another computers first one assigned to first second to second third to third fourth to fourth here you go first machine already running second machine running third machine running and fourth running some computers are finished this job and it turns to black here's we have some saved images that we render now that image is black because here we have a light above the camera. You can just simply push invisible and it will work. Yes, it's work. Let's uncheck. It's not working, as you can see. Just a simple mistake. This is my first four core computer and it's rendering so long. But I love this guy. This is i5 processor. Let's go to another camera, it's camera turntable, so we have 60 frames of his turning for Turbo Squid and let's push right here, range, save file like Woody turntable to this directory, nice job. We want to send our 60 frames to a manager right here, submit to network rendering, you can rename it like turntable connect 
and submit. Some computers are busy now, but that guys that are free are assigned to some different frames. This is really useful stuff. Big burner, I love you. Because you can send right here a lot of different scenes, a lot of different sequences, different tasks. Let me show you guys what will happen if you don't have network path and some computers are lose sets so let's set the path from some different place not from network drive like from here in this case you will got something like this first machine doesn't have any textures third machine as you can see fourth machine too but this guy have the textures on his drive so this is bad don't forget to assign all that paths from network drive let me show you same thing with distributed rendering let's start distributed rendering for 2018 let's go to settings resolve servers let's start the render nothing complicated here we have some servers adding to this job and we've got second first all my four computers are connected to this job but as you can see a lot of them don't have any textures in the ar rendering without it but only one guy and the last feature that i want to share with you guys add your application to run automatically just copy this stuff put shell startup right here you can put right here some v-ray spawner or server manager everything that you want as you can see all my computers are starting with auto run here i have network drive and server because if you don't put this guy right here you will got something like this and every time you will have to go to your computers and open this folder so guys and girls, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just thumbs up, leave the comments below and bye. Simple, easy, fast. Be brave to new experience.